still in the array, still doing the drips. Uh, in the last experiment, whichever pixel we randomly selected, we randomly selected a colour and then we faded from that colour to its complement, which is at the opposite side of the colour wheel. So if we landed on cyan, the complementary colour would be red. In this case, we're using a split complementary seed in which we land randomly pick one of the colours on our colour wheel, let's say it's cyan, uh, and then we the split complementary, we're using two colours either side adjacent to what would be the complementary colour. So you can see here, whenever a pixel lights up, it lights with one colour, it fades to one of the split complementary colours and then fades to the other split complementary colour and then fades back to black. Uh, once again, this is one step further forward to being able to use colour more wisely in future experiments.